Hey, welcome YouTube. I'm Aniket and you are watching Vet Study. So today we will discuss about the uh, parasite Dicrocelium, uh, mainly the species Dicrocelium dendriticum. And the common name of this parasite is the uh, lancet fluke or the small liver fluke. So this common name is very important and can be asked in your exam. So uh, why we call this uh, Dicrocelium lancet fluke? Because uh, uh, just because of its shape. Its shape is lanceolate. Okay, uh, that is why we call it the lancet fluke. And the typical feature of uh, uh, this parasite is its egg. Uh, and the egg of this parasite is flat on one side. Uh, this is just like uh, the egg of Auxurus equi. Okay, and the uh, eggs are operculated and embryonated. So these are some specific uh, features about the morphology uh, of this parasite. Now uh, we'll look at the life cycle. So if you talk about the life cycle, the hosts are ruminant uh, and dogs, pig, men. Intermediate host, uh, there are two intermediate hosts in this case. The first intermediate host is the land snail. As you can see, this is the first intermediate host. And the second intermediate host is the ant. Uh, that is Fusca, uh, Formica Fusca, right? So that is the scientific name of ant, Formica Fusca. So there are two intermediate hosts and transmission of infection is uh, just because of the ingestion of ant which carry the metacercaria and this can be transmitted to the um, animal or to the humans also. So uh, this is yes zoonotic and uh, uh, so in this uh, aspect we have uh, uh, the life cycle and in life cycle uh, you can see the eggs are embryonated in this case. Embryonated egg are shed in the feces and this is the diagnostic stage. It means that you can diagnose this parasite by looking at the uh, eggs in the feces. Now these eggs are uh, ingested by the snail uh, which is the first intermediate host in this case and this egg will be converted to the Miracidium sporosus to Cercaria and this Cercaria comes out and here are different things happen. Uh, so this different thing is uh, this cercaria are released from the snail via respiratory pore in the form of uh, slime ball means what what happened these cercaria clump together to form a slime ball and this slime ball is eaten up by the ant okay this slime ball is eaten up by the ant and the cercaria insists to metacercaria after being eaten by an ant which is the second intermediate host so here the cercaria converted to the metacercaria inside the ant. This in, uh, ant can be ingested uh, incidentally by the uh, human or uh, the definitive host to become infected by ingestion of this uh, ant. So this is the infective stage metacercaria which will be ingested by the uh, host right and this uh, will uh, again exist in the duodenum and reach to the liver by common bile duct. Adult will be formed in the bile duct and these adult will uh, start producing the egg again. So this is the general life cycle means sabse pehle hamara egg tha, wo egg hamara uh, kisne ingest kar liya, snail ne ingest kar liya, uske indar hamara different um, development huye aur cercaria uh, hamare yahaan se nikle, iske indar jo ek important cheez hai, wo is slime ball. Ye question bar bar poochha jata hai ki slime ball formation kis parasite ke indar hota hai. So remember this, slime ball is formed in the Dicrocelium dendriticum. This slime ball or kuch nahi, bhoat sare cercaria jab clump together, uh, so we call it the slime ball. Jab ye slime ball koon kha lega? Ant kha legi, to uske andar ja kar ke hamara metacercaria ban jayega. Ye metacercaria, jab is ant ko hi pure ko hamara kya hooga? Incidental ingestion ho jayega, to ye metacercaria hamara exist kar rahega aur ye host ko infect karega. So this is the general life cycle. After this, uh, we can see the pathogenesis. We can see pathogenesis according to uh, where the parasite is uh, going inside the host. So in pathogenesis, uh, this is this parasite is comparatively less pathogenic to the fasciola. We compare it with the fasciola, and um, but yes, there are some pathogenesis that absence or uh, it will affect the liver only. Absence of migratory phase uh, will not. Uh, uh, produce many pathogenic lesion in this case uh, but yes this will produce the cirrhosis and scarring of the liver surface and uh, uh, distension of the bile duct so all the lesions mainly are produced in the liver because as it affect the liver of the host and the symptoms you will see are uh, somewhat similar to the fasciola like anemia edema and emaciation and um, 
uh, after that uh, uh, if you talk about the epidemiology in india this parasite is mainly uh, confined to the himalayan belt uh, just because of the intermediate host uh, and if you talk about the diagnosis then diagnosis is similar to other uh, like uh, clinical sign necropsy finding you can also go for the parasitological diagnosis and uh, the sero diagnosis test and in this case also if we talk about the treatment then uh, prazi Quintal is the uh, drug which you you can use at the rate of 50 mg per kg body weight and uh, if we talk about the control control is similar to the fasciola you can see uh, the fasciola video on my channel thank you for watching if you like it please press the thumbs up and subscribe to Vextrin.